size 4.1 we continue from the previous class question number 3 given an equation x minus alpha the whole square plus y minus beta the whole square equal to r square we want to form the differential equation how many constants are there two constants one is alpha and the other one is beta so differentiate two times so let me call this is one differentiate with respect to x x square will become 2x x minus alpha the whole square will become 2 into x minus alpha plus y square same pattern like x square 2 into x minus alpha here I will write 2 into y minus beta hide square we have y which will become dy by dx writing dy by dx difficult we can also write y dash in the problems. This is equal to r square is a constant which becomes 0. We will see once again. x square becomes 2x. Same pattern. x minus alpha the whole square will become 2 into x minus alpha. Similarly, y minus beta the whole square becomes 2 into y minus beta. Whenever y comes in the problem, put y dash or dy by dx r square becomes 0. Call this as number 2. Now we need to do one more derivative. Since there are two constants, differentiate with respect to x. Again I am doing 2 as it is. x will become 1. Alpha constant will become 0. Forget it. 2 y minus beta one term, y dash another term. How many terms are there? Two terms. So, keep the first term, differentiate the second term. Plus, keep the second term, differentiate the first term. See whether you understand. We have first term y minus beta, y dash will become y double dash. Plus, keep y dash, y minus beta, I have to differentiate. y becomes y dash, beta constant will become 0. Throughout 2 is common. I can divide by 2. So this becomes 1 plus y minus beta into y double dash plus y dash into y dash is y dash the whole square that is 0. Now I need to find what is y minus beta. So bring the remaining to the other side. It is minus 1 minus y dash the whole square. Bring y double dash down. So, y minus beta equal to minus is common 1 plus y dash square divided by y double dash. Minus is common 1 plus y dash square divided by y double dash. Call this as number 3. Put y minus beta in second step. Find out what is x minus alpha. As I substitute y minus beta here, 2x minus alpha plus 2 into, what is y minus beta? Minus 1 plus y dash square by y double dash into y dash that is equal to 0. I can cancel 2 also. 2 into x minus alpha equal to this minus symbol. When I take to the other side, it is plus. 2, 1 plus y dash square into y dash by y double dash. 2 and 2 cancels. So I get x minus alpha is equal to 1 plus y dash square into y dash divided by y double dash. Call this is number 3. Now what is y minus beta? We have called it as 2. What is x minus alpha? We have called it as 3. Put this 2 and 3 in the very first equation. We get the required answer. So we put y minus beta and x minus alpha values in the first equation. 
x minus alpha the whole square. Square this one. 1 plus y dash square by y double dash into y dash the whole square. So square, square and the whole square. Plus y minus beta value minus if I square it is positive. 1 plus y dash square the whole square divided by y double dash square equal to r square. In these problems we can keep r square as it is. Only alpha and beta I have to eliminate. This is a circle equation in that r is the radius. So keeping r will not affect my answer. Eliminate only alpha and beta. Cross multiply. I get in both the things what is common? 1 plus y dash square the whole square common. So take 1 plus y dash square the whole square into what is left out? y dash square plus 1. Denominator I have y double dash the whole square. So this is the LCM. In the numerator the whole square common. I am left with y dash square. Nothing is left means 1. Equal to r square. Cross multiplying. It is 1 plus y dash square. The whole thing into. Here the power 1. Here the power 2. Together it is power 3. r square. y double dash the whole square. Or bringing all the terms to the same side. I get r square y double dash the whole square minus bringing to this side 1 plus y dash square the whole cube equals to 0. Wherever y dash is coming let us put dy by dx and wherever y double dash is coming let us put d square y by dx square. So this becomes r square into d square y by dx square the whole square minus 1 plus dy by dx the whole square the whole cube equal to 0. This is the differential equation for the given question. Question number 2 subsection 2 y equals c into x minus c the whole square. We need to form the differential equation. There is only one constant so differentiate one time alone with respect to x. I can write y as y dash. C is the coefficient. x square becomes 2x. So x minus c the whole square becomes 2 into x minus c. Call this as number 1 and this as number 2. In both the terms we have c, x minus c many terms common. So let me divide 1 divide by 2. I get y by y dash equals to c x minus c the whole square by c 2 into x minus c. I get y by y dash equal to c cancel x minus c square also cancel. I am left with x minus c by 2. So what is x minus c from here cross multiply. 2y by y dash. Call this is number 2. From this I write what is c. So bring c this side and 2y by y dash this side. x minus 2y by y dash equal to c. Call this is number 3. Now 1, 2, 3 implies. In 1 y equal to. In the place of c, let me substitute this. What is c actually? x minus 2y by y dash. In the place of x minus c, I can substitute second one. So what is x minus c? 2y by y dash. 2y by y dash the whole square. Simplifying the answer. It is here I can cross multiply. x y dash minus 2y by y dash into squaring this 4y square by y dash square. 1y and 1 square I can cancel. 
y dash and y dash the whole square will become y dash the whole cube cross multiplying y dash the whole cube equals to i get 4y into x y dash minus 2y multiplying y dash the whole cube equals 4y x y dash minus 4 into 2 8 y into y y square now wherever y dash is coming let me put dy by dx so y dash is equal to dy by dx substituting i get dy by dx the whole cube equals 4y x again y dash is dy by dx minus 8y square and this is the differential equation for the given question. Question number 4. Find the differential equation of family of all straight lines through the origin. Now this is our x and y axis. This is origin. We have all straight lines through the origin. How many straight lines are there? There are many. So all these straight lines are passing through origin only. So which only changes? It is passing through 0, 0 means generally I write y equal to mx plus c. Whenever it is passing through 0, 0 plus c will not come. No constant whenever the line or curve passing through the origin. So, what is the equation I get? Y equal to mx. As I change m, I get not one line, many lines. So, all these lines we call family of lines. So, the equation is y is equal to mx. There is only one constant m. Differentiate with respect to x. Y becomes y dash. M will come as it is. X will become 1. So, wherever m is coming, I have to put y dash. So, this is 2 and this is 1. 1 comma 2 implies y equal to in the place of m, I shall put y dash into x. Or in other words, y equal to dy by dx into x and that is the answer.